In this lesson, we'll continue our review of Passport to Advanced Math Concepts. We're in the official PSAT practice test, section four, calculator permitted, question 25. And this is 25 out of 27 before the grid in start, the end of the problem solving, so we know this is a difficult question. Janice puts a fence around her rectangular garden. The garden has a length that is nine feet less than three times its width. What is the perimeter of Janice's fence if the area of her garden is 5,670 square feet? We're told that the length is nine feet less than three times the width. So we can express length as nine feet less than three times the width. We're also given that the area is 5670. And we know that length times width equals area. So we have two different variables here, but we can express L in terms of W to just solve in terms of W. So we have L times W equals 5670, but we're gonna express L in terms of W. We're gonna use three W minus nine. We know times just the W equals the area, which is 5670. So if we were to multiply this out, we get three W squared minus nine W equals 5670. And so we have a quadratic here. And the first step is we have this leading three, this is nine. Let's see if 5670 divides by three, just we could simplify this. So 5670 divided by three, 1890, so that's good. So we're gonna reduce this, and this is gonna be 1890, and this is gonna be W squared minus three W. So we have a quadratic, and this is a difficult problem because 1890 is such a big number. We've gotta find two factors of 1890, and the difference is negative three. I'm gonna show you a shortcut of this method, and um, but before I do, I wanna just show you more of an academic way. I know a lot of students want to use quadratic formula, which is fine, but you will need to know how to complete the square, especially for like equations of circles. I personally think it's the easier method than completing than quadratic formula, just because sometimes with that method you have difficult coefficients, you might have fractions. I just think this is an easier method. So let's just review this method, completing the square. We want to turn this into a, into a perfect square. And all we do is, because we have this leading coefficient is just one, we just take this coefficient right here and cut it in half. So it's negative 3w, it's gonna be negative 1.5, that's all we do. So it's w minus 1.5 and we square the quantity. That's it. And so what we have done, we have replicated this, but we've really added one extra value. And so let's think about this is a perfect square. If we multiply this out, if we FOIL it out, we get w squared, we get minus 1.5w minus 1.5w, which is minus 3w, that's the same as this, but the last step of the FOIL is negative 1.5 times negative 1.5, we've added 2.25. And so to balance this out like any equation, since we've added 2.25, we have to add 2.25 to this side. And that will be our equation, so it's gonna be 1892.25. Now we just solve it like a regular equation. And so we're gonna take the square root of both sides. So let's take 1892.25 and let's take the square root of that. All right, 43.5. So we took the square root of that. That's gonna be plus or minus. But if you think about it, this is a real life scenario. It's a word problem. So we're not gonna use the negative. Obviously that doesn't make sense here. It's gonna be only the positive value. And then, so we get W minus 1.5 equals that. So we're just using the positive. We're gonna add 1.5 to both sides. So then W equals 45. Remember the question is asking for the perimeter. So we just got one more step. And again, I promise I'll show you a shortcut after that. So our W is 45. And what we have to do, we know that two W plus two length equals the perimeter. And so the W is 45, so two times 45, that's just gonna be 90. And we're gonna plug in 45 here. 45 times three, you could use your calculator, that's 135 minus nine, that's 126, but we've got two of these L's, so that's gonna be 252. And the answer is 342. I know this was a tough problem, A. I'll show you a shortcut. 
if you want to save a little bit of time, sometimes if you just use a little bit of intuition, these are much easier ways to solve this. But this is a good technique, I think, just to review. So let's go back to this original equation right here. And I'm just going to scroll down and write it here so we can focus on it. So remember, we had w squared minus 3w equals 1890. And you're thinking, what are two factors? Like you could even, I suppose, bring it over to this side because we're not completing the square. So you're thinking, what are the two factors here of 1890 where we get negative 3? And it's such a big number. And also, if you look at the choices, it really has to be an integer. These have to be really close to each other. And so think about, you could just take the square root. The square root is just going to be almost in the middle because they're only three apart. So let me just show you what I mean. So let's take 1890. And we're just going to take the square root of that. And you see we get 43.47. It's pretty close to like 43.5. And so 43.5, remember they have to be 3 apart because we've got negative 3. And so if you just add 1.5 to either side, then we're going to be 3 apart. So if we take this and we add 1.5, we get the 45. And we subtract and we get 42. And then you could see that the two answers is going to be x minus 45. Remember, because it's a minus 3, we want the minus a little bit uh, bigger. And it's going to be x plus 42. And you'll see that will work. And so 45 is the answer. Again, I hope that made sense. But if you use a little bit of intuition sometimes in these problems, you can find shortcuts. But you should be able to complete the square 